Hey Ted, it's Nathan again, and I'm back with the next coding challenge. And this one is a shortest path algorithm. And essentially, the idea is that you're given a set of nodes and a set of edges, and you want to find the shortest route between the first node that you're given and the last node that you're given. Um, so in this case, um, what we want to do is say, all right, we've got nodes A, B, C, D, and E here, and we've got all of these edges, which um, represent these little lines here. And that tells us that we can go from A to B, and we can go from B to C, and B to D, and then C to D, and then D to E. So we want to get from A to E with this information. Uh, so there's two different ways that you can do this, and we want to we want to return just the shortest version, and so that would be A B D E as opposed to taking a pit stop here in D in between B and D. Uh, so the way that I thought about doing this is uh, just to uh, do a recursive function that looks at any node that you're at and says, all right, can I get to where I want to go, which in this case is E, from where I'm at. And if the answer is yes, then you just return a list of uh, where you've been. And because we got to keep track of where we've been, it's a recursive function with memoization. Um, so we have to keep track of where we've been, but we want to say, great, we're starting with A, we're currently at A, and we can only go to B. So since we can't get from A directly to E, we're going to say, great, we've been to A, and then call that same function with that A information in it uh, on B. Now, when you call B then, or the function on B, then you're gonna say, well, we can get to D and we can get to C, but we don't know which route will, if any, get us to E. And so we're gonna call that same function, um, say, okay, well, places we've been is now A and B, and then we're gonna call the function on all the places that we can go. So we're gonna say, give me all the information for D and then all the information for C. So we'll call it on D and at D we'll say, great, we've been to A, B and D and we can get to E. So we'll just say, all right, A, B, D, E, that's a complete route, pass it back up to B um, and then B will just be waiting for C uh, and eventually that'll come back that there's a route uh, A, B, C, D, E. And so B will decide, great, we've got two different routes to get to E from B. And so let me just return the shortest one back to A. And then A only gets one thing returned to it and then passes it back up the call stack um, uh, to where it was called. Um, so the way that I'm going to do this is... Um, to turn this list, so the input list is a, um, uh, a, a list of strings. So the first one is how many nodes there are, and then a list of all the nodes, and then a list of all the edges. So we're just going to take this information and turn it into something a little more usable, um, and then turn that information into a dictionary. And we're going to use a dictionary because, uh, which is just a, a hash map in Python because it does all of the things that we want uh, it to do, which is to keep track of what node we're at and where we can go. So we've got a dictionary then of um, all the different nodes. Uh, in this case, it's just A, B, C, D, and, then, and there's no E. So we're going from A to D, and we're going to say, great, we can go A to B, B, A, C, D, blah, blah, blah. And that'll tell us what all of our, all of our options are. Uh, so we have this data structure, which mirrors this, and we've got our recursive function with memoization, and uh, I think we've got a, a, a good way of going forward. So let's take a look at the code itself. So we've got our shortest path with our array, uh, that's our input, and which is our uh, list of strings. And we're just going to uh, snatch the nodes and the edges out put them in their own lists, and then create that empty nodes uh, dictionary. So each one of the keys is um, uh, one of the nodes, and then the, the value is just an empty set. And I wanted to use sets because I wasn't sure if there were duplicates in the input lists, or if you have like A, B, and B, A, I didn't want it to try and visit the same node 
twice and things would just go bad. So this is just a way to uh, avoid that using sets. Um, so then we add all of our edges. Great, everything's fine. Um, and then we finally call our shortest path on, uh, in, this, in, 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 in this first example, on A. So we've got our uh, current uh, location. We're starting at A, we're trying to get to E. We've got our dictionary of all the nodes, which looks uh, something like this. And then we've got a list of places we visited, which is empty because we're just starting out. And now we'll take a look at the actual function itself. So this is our, uh, this is our little recursive function. And the first thing we do is find out if we can get to where we want to go from where we're currently at. So if we're, um, if we can hit the final destination, uh, we just return a list of where we've been with uh, where we're currently at and the destination. And if we can't get there, then we keep track of uh, all the different routes that we can take. Uh, and then we recursively run the same function on um, all of the different uh, uh, nodes that we can go to, um, but only if we haven't already visited them. Um, and then we take all of those different routes and put them into this list and find the shortest one that is not just an empty, uh, empty list and return that. And if there is nowhere that we can go that gets us to our destination from here, then uh, we just return an empty list. So all of that happens. Eventually we get uh, all the way down the call stack and all the way back up and we're returned uh, some list. So we take this list and if it doesn't have any li uh, length to it, then we just return uh, the integer negative one. Otherwise we um, use that list and turn it into a string using this um, and that's, that's our result. So I made a little test uh, down here and plopped all of the uh, examples here to say this is our test path and it'll just automatically run the function. So this is our first example and then we want it to say ABD, etc, etc, etc. The long and short of it is that uh, it works. <laughs> we can run through the, the very first one, the AB, ABD one. Um, so the input is for ABCD and then all of these uh, edges, we turn them into uh, these nodes and these edges. And then we make that dictionary, which essentially looks like this. Um, and then we start recursing. We start at A and we go to B um, and we see that we have a path of AB. And then we start um, uh, we, we, we're at B and we find immediately that we can see our destination. So we're just going to return uh, ABD. So A gets returned a list of all the routes that get to, to D, which is just one thing, um, because B automatically finds D as the correct answer. And this is the shortest of one ways. Um, you can see down here there are um, other shortest uh, when you've got more options down here, um, here A is trying to get to G and it's got two different routes. One of them includes C and one of them does not include C. Um, so you can see that eventually you get back up the call stack here and you've got two options and it just picks the, the shortest one. So that's it. That's my, that's my, um, my short head route.